asked you day 14 um, and the third day working on posture we worked on a rhyme on the first day yesterday I talked to you about what the upper body should be doing um, and the principles for the movement of the upper body and today I'm going to talk to you about the lower heart so basically we've worked on our chin being up clear of the chest and we've bent over from the waist and we spoke about that spinal angle yesterday so with regard to the lower half the principle to the bottom half in the golf swing is that it resists the twist the rotation the coil of the upper body it's really important that it does resist because that's where you can store power and how you create more power very often I tend to see a lot of movement in players from side to side so as they take the club away they tend to actually move this way and this now not only does that make it difficult to come back to the same spot every time but it doesn't actually generate a great wind so it actually loses an awful lot of power I like to see the right foot for right-handed golfers at right angles to your target line the left foot can be turned out slightly this is a personal factor but the principle to a square right foot that's at right angles to that target line is that it enables you to work off of a firm base or onto a firm base as you make your backswing. So as I make the coil in my upper body, the fact that my right foot was square enables me to turn against this right knee and so create the resistance and create the power. Players who tend to turn their feet out are the ones that then will create a little bit of a sway and a movement of cross into this side here. They've lost the central point that was over here and they've not coiled, um, so they've not created power. So a square right foot or a, or a right foot that's at right angles is a good idea because it gives you the feeling that you can turn against the inside of that right knee and I'm creating the power and the sensation that I can unwind and unleash powerfully to strike the ball. The left foot's turned out slightly because that's our platform. Remember the backswing is only a preparation so there's a slower movement to make the backswing and then the unwind is the power. So we want that left foot turned out slightly so that we give ourselves a base to work on to and, and, and a position to get ourselves held and controlled at the end of our golf swing with our belt buckle and our chest now facing the target. A good exercise for you to get into um, I've seen Faldo do this, Nick Faldo do this with a, um, like a small beach ball, is to see if we can place the ball in between our knees and just give yourself a backswing movement trying to keep the ball in position. As I make that turn, I'm having to really focus on holding on to the ball and in particular keeping this right knee flexed and pointing in towards where the ball's come from. For many golfers I see, ball would be lost because they've made that movement across and outside and onto the outside of that right foot. As you make that swing, as you make that turn, see if you can feel for the weight on the inside of that right knee. Good hip turn, good shoulder rotation. There's my power stored. And now I can come through and strike the ball powerfully and hold and control that finish. There's lesson 14. See you tomorrow for number 15. Thank you.